these games are ranked by play score, a standard rating that averages gamer and critic reviews. Opening our list of our top 25 PC adventure games is The Cat Lady. Harvester games will shake you to your very core in this disturbing horror adventure. Step into the shoes of the troubled cat lady, Susan Ashworth, and guide her through a haunting pilgrimage that spans death and beyond. The game spirals into the depths of human emotion, showing you a gruesome picture of depression and suicide. Even with its simple graphics, it boasts a complexity that transcends the cheap thrills of the genre. It has a play score of 8.57. Number 24 is Abzu. Dive into a mesmerizing ocean adventure in this BAFTA award-winning title. From the art director of the equally mesmerizing game, Journey, Giant Squid gives us an eye-opening tour around nature's hidden paradise. Take control of a diver and watch as he delves deeper into the secrets of the shore and the great abyss. Relaxing and visually striking, it's this kind of undersea experience that will make swimming with the fishes cool again. It has a play score of 8.58. Number 23 is Oxen Free. Before there was Stranger Things, it was just Night School Studios award-winning video game. It blends the best parts of the 80s into one thrilling coming-of-age story. Embark on a hair-raising adventure along with a band of stranded teenagers who unwittingly open a paranormal rift. Unlock the riddles of the island with your ghastly radio and weave through multiple ends with their smart conversation system. It's a hauntingly gorgeous game with an emotional narrative to boot. It has a play score of 8.58. Number 22 is The Sexy Brutal. From the tranquil pacifism of rhyme, Tequila Works takes us on the roller coaster ride of a murder mystery. It's a never ending cycle of suspense and intrigue as corpses pile up in a grand casino mansion. As one of the guests of an increasingly bloody masquerade, your job is to put a stop to the madness. Take advantage of perpetual time loops to investigate each guest and gather enough clues to solve the riddle once and for all. It has a play score of 8.6. Number 21 is The Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Join the naval misadventures in this reimagining of the 90s classic point-and-click game. Making its return after over two decades, LucasArts' swashbuckling adventure is looking and sounding even better than before. Play as rookie pirate Guybrush Threepwood and watch him climb up the Buccaneerian ladder in his fresh new environment. Packed with a fully orchestrated score and voiceovers from the original Monkey Island cast, it's pirate comedy at its finest and it has a play score of 8.61. Number 20 is Her Story. A throwback to the vintage FMVs, Sam Barlow's narrative fiction easily blurs the line between reality and video game. With its simple premise, Sam Barlow takes us on a riveting tale of a woman's lost husband. Put on your detective hats and use a database of video footage to uncover the mystery of his disappearance. With just over seven clips, this one-man product manages to deliver a compelling crime fiction that's worthy of recognition. It has a play score of 8.64. Number 19 is Valiant Hearts The Great War. Crafted from letters of the First World War, this game is definitely no feel-good story. Veering away from the usual action of war games, Ubisoft shines a spotlight on the seemingly ordinary lives of four different people. Witness the battle from their varying perspectives and see how their stories intertwine into a heartwarming tale of love and friendship. Solve puzzles and charge into the front lines in a World War I game like no other. It has a play score of 8.68. Number 18 is Clanad. From the award-winning visual novel developers, Key gives us a look into the ups and downs of a not-so-ordinary high school life. Take control of the selfless delinquent Tomoya as he navigates through his last year of high school. Get to know his dysfunctional family and meet the unique personalities that surround him. The game has been praised for its enormous amount of content with branching narratives that has inspired manga, anime, and film. A bestseller on its first release, it receives a play score of 8.68. Number 17 is To The Moon. The RPG maker has been home to many impressive indie games, but none as moving as Freebird's time-bending saga. Working for a company that fulfills wishes through artificial memories, you meet an old man named Johnny who wants to go to the moon. Go back in time through his important moments, solve puzzles, and discover his tragic past. 
it unfolds into a poignant tale of time and romance that's nothing short of beautiful. Packed with interesting puzzles and a tear-jerking original soundtrack, it has a play score of 8.68. Number 16 is Blackwell Epiphany. Wajirai Games puts a close to their retro-style point-and-click in this final chapter to the critically acclaimed Blackwell series. With this finale, they essentially cement their status in video game narrative history, tying the loose ends of their story and culminating everything that made the series amazing. Join in on the paranormal lives of Rosa Black and Joey Malone as they fulfill their spiritual duties one last time. Meet two new characters and take your fill in their longest Blackwell title yet. It has a play score of 8.69. Number 15 is Machinarium. Another award-winning indie hit, this time from the makers of the Otherworldly Samurai series. But where their previous successes are lush and vibrant, Machinarium invites us into a gritty dystopian world. Play as the robot Yosef as he roams around his dilapidated land to rescue his kidnapped girlfriend. For a land filled teeming with rust and robots, its hand-drawn 2D animations make the silent world come alive. A tastefully depressing game to tease your metal noggins, it has a play score of 8.69. Number 14 is Emily is Away 2. An expansion of the medical classic that was Emily is Away, return to the awkward early 2000s. Plant yourself in front of a simulated computer screen and let the waves of emotion come over you once more. This new title features an all-new story that follows you, Emily and Evelyn, in your last year of high school. Now the story flows past the original chat box, opening you up to the internet through Facebook, YouTube, and more. If you thought actual high school was tough, Emily will gladly prove you wrong. It has a play score of 8.7. Number 13 is Rakuen. For a game that was four years in the making, this is an all-around experience. Beneath the familiar 16-bit environments, Rakuen unveils the story of a hospitalized boy who finds solace in his own storybook fantasy. Cloaked in colorful worlds, Laura Shigahara's labor of love deals with mature themes with utmost sophistication. See through the eyes of a child and weave through a bittersweet story of illness, hope, and loss. It has a play score of 8.74. Standing at number 12 is Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons. Before his cooperative action adventure, A Way Out, Yosef Fares worked on this equally fraternal adventure game from Starbreeze Studios. This game lets you control two brothers as they embark on a quest to the mythical tree of life. Guide them through various obstacles with their respective thumb controls, and watch them weave through the challenges of their journey. Experience an award-winning tale of love and loss with a play score of 8.74. Number 11 is Thimbleweed Park. A sequel to Maniac Mansion and The Secret of Monkey Island, Ron Gilbert and Gary Winnick take us on a neo-noir mystery set in 1987. Tag along with the detective pair, Ray and Reyes, as they investigate a murder in classic point-and-click fashion. Interview a town full of dysfunctional citizens in a story that's equal parts Twin Peaks and laugh-out-loud hilarity. Here's another graphic adventure success with a play score of 8.76. Number 10 is Night in the Woods. Mental health is one issue society still grapples with. But in Alec Haloka's daring adventure, he manages to tackle the subject with ease, stringing us along on a graceful tango of narrative and presentation. Follow the story of the college dropout, May, whose homecoming is met with a series of eerie changes. Walk into the woods with their lovable cast of anthropomorphic creatures and discover a litany of surprises and dangers. It's a quirky spotlight on depression that's anything but depressing. It has a play score of 8.77. Number 9 is One Shot. A title infamous for its unexpected fourth wall breaks, One Shot is an unexpected meta masterpiece. It features an adorable cat named Nico who journeys on a quest to restore power to a long dead son. But instead of controlling, you play as the omniscient half of the team, guiding Nico through obstacles and towards the fulfillment of his quest. It's surreal, haunting, and beautiful at the same time. Remember, you only have one shot. It receives a play score of 8.78. Number 8 is Soma. From the developers of Amnesia, Frictional Games' latest take on horror brings you to the realm of neurocognitive science. 
In Soma, you follow a man as he deals with the repercussions of a recent brain surgery. Transported to a subterranean facility, find out the mystery of your other consciousness, and escape from the creeping humanoids. It's a sci-fi survival horror that leaves a lasting impression due to its impressive ending and thought-provoking themes. It has a play score of 8.82. Number 7 is Owlboy. Although it took D-Pad Studios about 10 years to create this platform adventure, Owlboy seemingly elevates pixel visuals with grace and style. Fly off to its faraway floating islands and aid Owlboy on a perilous quest through monster-infested caverns. The game is endlessly breathtaking, each scene holding testament to the developer's meticulous design. Watch trees sway along with the wind, leaves float around the sky, and characters grow amid the growing turmoil. A cute Studio Ghibli-esque paradise, it has a play score of 8.85. Number 6 is Inside. Play Dead follows up their limbo success with another dark tale. Take on the role of a young boy and escape the clutches of his evil dystopian world. Wielding the power of mind control, solve the game's collection of odd puzzles, and maneuver through the deadly threats along the way. It's wrapped in Play Dead's signature monochromatic atmosphere, drawing you further into its traumatizing majesty. It has a play score of 8.89. Number 5 is The Stanley Parable. We've had our fill of heart-wrenching poignancy, so it's high time to detour into the light-hearted madness of Davy Redden's interactive fiction. A pure adventure in the truest sense, take a tour of a seemingly abandoned office space and pave your own way to freedom. There are no barriers to overcome or battle scenes to trudge along. It's just you, the office, and its hilariously omniscient narrator. With 19 different endings, the choice is yours. Or is it? It has a play score of 8.91. Number 4 is West of Loathing. Pack up your saddlebags and ride on towards the black and white deserts of Asymmetric's RPG adventure. No matter what you do, you won't be prepared for the hysterical antics of this western comedy. While it looks straight out of a college animation class, it seamlessly delivers a sprawling open world full of danger, quests, and snake-infested planes. Partake in silly turn-based shootouts and laugh your ass off at their non-stop gags. It has a play score of 8.95. Number 3 is The Talos Principle. A unique entry in Devolver Digital's roster of absurdly stylish indie gems. Embrace the machinations of science fiction as you wake up in an island full of ancient mysteries. Solve each of their excellent visual riddles as you become face-to-face -face with our world's philosophical conundrums. Discover what it means to be human and ask yourself about the meaning of life. With over 100 puzzles scattered around a stunning landscape, it's an existential crisis you can't miss. It has a play score of 8.96. Number 2 is Day of the Tentacle Remastered. The last in a triple threat of LucasArts jewels, Day of the Tentacle is another in their line of outrageously funny adventures. Crafted in the same fashion as the groundbreaking Maniac Mansion, it follows in the path of uproarious point-and-click shenanigans. Follow their oddball characters through their physics-denying misadventures with their faulty time machine. A cult classic since its 1993 release, the charm of the original is lovingly retained in this remastered form. It has a play score of 9.1. And the best PC adventure game is Ori and the Blind Forest. What else to put in first place than a game that oozes with the joys of adventure? Take control of the guardian tree spirit Ori as he carries out his duty to save the magical forest from the growing darkness. With one of the most fluid platforming controls, his journey around the ethereal foliage is one that rekindles the flame of classic Metroidvania. Bask in the game's carefully crafted visuals and symphonic soundtracks and fall prey to their unexpectedly stirring moments. It has a play score of 9.19. You may get these games right now by clicking the links below.